Volker this time. I don't see either Loda or Bulldog playing this hero at all. It doesn't really suit their player profile. They rotate down. Uh, past the Roche pit and appears they'll invade the Radiant Jungle. We see a little line on the mini-map here. They are scouting it out with a tree ant, so they know this area down bottom is semi-safe. FNG may walk right into it, though. He wanted that tree ant. He'll grab it, but it'll cost him everything. Oh, boy. FNG gets punished for his greed and falls for the jungle at four minutes, and he might just get to pay for it right here. I think he will. He yeah, doesn't have Luger. mana for a Sprout or a Teleport. He doesn't even have Sprout. He has a salve. That'll buy him some time. Oh. In comes the heal from Ake. And there's a Sunstrike that flies through. It'll be off the mark. Now Funix in trouble as Loda joins the party. Illusory Orb out. Looking for the kill on Bulldog still. Phase shift. One more auto attack. Brings him down. Makes it a one for one. Opening in the map. He knew that he could try to go for the tower. Really surprising to see that Alliance didn't do anything about it, actually. They could have tried to defend it, but they didn't. Instead, they're going to get lost up top as the first part of the trade. But is there going to be a follow up here? Yeah, Doom's already come out onto Loda, so no chrono for him. He doesn't have the mana for it anyhow. SMG uses the Leech Seed onto Misery, and now the support comes in. Dendi's joined the party, and Misery will fall. Out comes the chrono, but there's just no follow-up damage. Ake's on the outside, Langdon, the auto attacks. They will bring down Vanscore. Bulldog comes up, Crypt Swarms fly out. They ping out Loda as if they want to chase him down, but I don't know how easy this will be. Dendi does have a double damage and a set of phase boots. And there is potential for a, a counter kill here as Navi will commit to this. They've got an exorcism up in about oh, five Loda's seconds. Really a lot low. of damage onto Loda. Van score in the perfect position for the time walk. And that will secure the kill. Now they find Misery once again. And he seems to be in no man's land. Nowhere for him to go. He'll get picked Dying off. That's strong. a double. Still not cool down yet. Looks like Dendi will just move into uh, a bit of a race car build here. Straight into the Yules with that Void Stone. And now Loda Good goes forward. Chrono. chrono onto two. Sunstrike will fly through. Hits on Dendi, but he's pretty damn tanky. FNG is there. Has a living armor. Not enough to keep him alive. But now they'll turn and try and take the fight. Chronic throws out the waning red. Orbs away. This is a five hero rotation from Alliance. Now Vanscore and FNG caught inside of a Sprout. And one of them at the very least will fall. Vanscore gets finished off. FNG, no point in that nature's guys. Now he gets stunned up. Nowhere to go. Yeah, he will. Power does not get denied. Loda with a chrono on one. Funnick off to the side is completely isolated. There's your death war, but it gets interrupted almost right away. Beautiful dream coil coming out from the puck. Funnick making big plays here. Where's the follow up damage though? Misery in the front line. Throws a stun onto Dendi. There's the reset. If only they had an exorcism here, this would be a completely different fight. Finally, the reincarnation comes down. Ake gets picked off around the side, but Havost in the front lines trying to finish off Loda. Throws out the doom. Not enough to keep Dendi alive, and it will be a deny onto Loda. Now Bulldog on the run. They will try and chop him down. The Sprout buys him some time. They have no vision. Finally, the trees fall, and they will be able to bring him down. It's a two for three, soon to be a two for four. As Misery, silenced, will fall. And come towards the defense. And they may bump into Ake here, who may be uh, picked off as a strangler. He does have an invisibility rune on, so he'll be okay for now. But whoa, in the top lane. Faceless Void caught inside the Dream Coil. I caught the very tail end of it. We'll see a Doom come out on the Misery here. No reincarnation for him. So that will be a two for nil. Of course, that will stop his exorcism if he gets killed, and it might be worth it for Alliance to try to go for that play, but just the threat of the counterplay coming in, just it's keeping Alliance away right now, and with this living armor, Loda, or sorry, Dendi, <laughs> very hard to bring down. He's almost taken half of the tower. There comes the initiation, though. Yeah, overgrowth on three, the Dream Coil as well, and Mystic Flare to follow up. It's a massacre in the Alliance base. Loda will buy back straight away. He TP's to the tower and wants to find some vengeance here. The, oh, the Yules! As soon as he's looking for it, he can't get it. The Chrono off, he gets silenced now. Doom comes out on Misery, but they just keep Loda completely on the back foot. Even if he burns the Chrono now, it'll be just for a solo Hippos. Certainly not what Alliance were looking for. They will hold the base, but this is an expensive hold. They get two kills. But they forced the buyback onto Loda, cast. and that will really eat into his savings. Absolutely no backup to be gained right now. He's just waiting. Well, probably we're going to be oh. pushing here in 30 seconds. Okay, now he's leaving. Oh, they hop in on him both, but the Doom comes out onto Loda before he can get off the Chrono. And now he'll just get chopped down by the Doom. The Sprout will seal Loda's fate. Bulldog tries to TP out. That won't happen. The Mystic Flare, well, will not work quite well with that Yules, but still they interrupt the TP out. Bulldog still falls off around the backside. And now they'll prop the Reincarnation from Misery. They'll bring him down handily. That will be a three for nil trade. Just a disastrous engagement from a lion. Here to see the positioning of everyone. Navi spread apart. They know the chrono is available. That is one good thing that Alliance has to know. They failed that last fight. They did not use the chrono. Loda pressing forward, looking for the right opening. Doom is on cooldown for another 15. He'll find three. Navi or Dendi on the front lines. The Death Ward doing a lot of damage, but Dendi's just too tanky. He'll survive. Gets off the Yules. Now the Wraith King and the Void get turned around on. Bulldog comes in. Dendi's still alive. All the ghosts are healing back up. Chenzi gets picked off now. Bulldog falls. Buybacks all around. 
but is it enough? Oh, wow, four buybacks burned by the Dyer. Their tier three tower will fall. Navi will continue to commit. There's the Dream Coil. Out on Loda and Ake, even a Doom on top of Loda. That'll be the end of Ake. Loda gets completely destroyed. Triple kill for Dendi. That's it, GG well played. And I think appropriately timed from Alliance. What else can they do? Yeah, what a what a fantastic performance from Navi in this game. Alliance were looking really good yesterday, but wow, wow. now they just completely outclassed them, at least in this game. That was that was just a different level of play. Their movement was better. They got a lot out of their lanes. The early rotations and the super aggression from Navi, especially the two early towers, I think were crucial to this game. It reduced the map control of Alliance. They kept Bulldog's profit to an absolute minimum. It's very rare we see Bulldogs so starved on the Nature's Profit, but just kudos all around to Navi. I think all of them played an exceptional game, and 